Yo lo guys, so this is Omkara Dhate, you are watching Exploring Insanity, Exploring the Insane Way, the gear show. And as the name suggests, in this segment, we will be talking about a lot of travel, travel gears and tips. So, if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, do subscribe and stay updated. By the way, this video is also available in Hindi and Marathi and we also have a podcast in English and the link to which is given in the description below. Not a necessity like shoes, but yes, trekking poles helps to make our journey comfortable by providing us with stability and balance in all types of terrain. They also help to reduce the impact on our knees and other muscles while trekking also minimizes the soreness and fatigue due to these activities. Moreover, these trekking poles can also be used as an alternative to tent poles while pitching your shelters. So, there are these advantages of trekking poles and let us see how to choose the perfect trekking pole first. First, number of poles. A pair of trekking poles or single hiking staff solely depends upon your preferences. Normally, for a short easy trek with a little load, a single hiking staff will suffice. However, for longer treks with heavy luggage, a pair of trekking poles will be beneficial. These poles are adjustable and nowadays some poles also comes with a built-in camera mounts which can be used as a monopod or even a torchlight. So, if you need these features, do ask for it. Second, locking method. Normally, there are two methods for locking the adjustable poles once you have decided the required length. First, twist lock and second, lever or flick lock. Both methods are good. However, I personally would recommend to go for flip locks as they are more easy to use and takes less time to adjust. Third, pole length. Ideally, when you are standing straight holding the pole, our arms should form a 90 degree angle at the elbow. While ascending or moving upwards, the pole length should be shortened and while descending or moving downwards, the pole length should be increased as per the requirements. If you are a person taller than 6 feet, then you should choose a pole with maximum height of at least 130 cm or 50 inches or more. And for others, any regular trekking pole will suffice. Fourth, material. Trekking poles are typically made of carbon or aluminium. Carbon poles are lightweight and thus expensive. However, they are also prone to breakage under high pressure. Whereas aluminum poles are more durable and economical. They may bend under high pressure but they do not break. However, they are comparatively little heavy than carbon poles. So before going forward, this video is in collaboration with Aldo's Adventure. They are the exclusive and authorized dealers of all top adventure brand products up in Mumbai beyond Thane region and they are located in Dopuli. And the best part, you can get an exclusive discount up to 20% across their product by simply referring Exploring Insanity at their stores, the location link to which is given in the description below. And yes, they also offer panning their delivery, so do check them out. Fifth, grips. For grips, normally three options are available in the market. Form grip, cock grip and rubber grip. Form grips are soft and absorb moisture and water and also tend to break down quickly. Cock grips are durable, moisture resistant and also molds according to your hands with the use. However, they are comparatively costlier and little heavier than form grip. Rubber grips. Rubber grips are best option for trekking in the colder regions but in the hot weather it will constantly rub against your hands due to sweat and will lead to irritation. Poles with extended grips are also available and a good option because you don't need to constantly adjust the length when there are many ups and downs in the route. Sixth, tips. The tips of the trekking poles are usually made of carbide or steel to be used in snow or muddy areas along with the basket. On harder surfaces, using it with the rubber tip protectors extend the usage life of the poles. So do let me know in the comment section below 
What do you think about this series and which product you want me to review next? Do share this video with your friends as it will inspire me to do better. Until then, Insanians, keep exploring. Take care. Bye. Thank you.